This is basically what's been available on the market for quite some time now. This is the common panel. Then we have the new key parts panel, and this thing is far superior. Now, key parts is starting to take it into their own hands to actually make stampings of this stuff and not rely on the poorly cast stampings of, uh, you know, back in the day. If you're somebody like me that's, let's say redoing a cap corner, this lip right here, it is so far from the original, it's not even funny. Some people don't care and they'll just weld this in. I'm trying to make seamless repairs. What I end up doing with my cap corner is I actually left this lip intact right here and I cut up this panel where I'm going to leave the original just to get that lip because that, you know, does not exist on this panel. But now, when we look at the key parts panel, look at that. That is beautiful. This panel is actually a prototype. This is not out in the market yet. I was lucky enough to have these guys send this to me for a test fit, so I'm not gonna hold back. If it's garbage, I'll tell you guys straight up. I'm gonna lop this thing off and I'm gonna use this because this is close enough to the original where most people that are looking at it, if they're underneath the truck actually looking at this part, they're probably not gonna notice that this is a patch panel. Um, the other things that I noticed on this panel is this area is a little bit sharper. I almost wanna say it's a little bit too sharp, but uh, we'll take a look at it when we get to it. The panel is a little bit smoother. I almost feel like that is a little bit more true to the original truck. And the biggest question is how is this all going to fit on that cab because I can tell you right now this thing is very uneven. That's why I bought another panel. I was like, well, you know, I'll just cut it here and then I'll just use that panel and then weld that onto that side. With this new key parts panel, I'm hoping not to have to make such drastic modifications and I'm able to cut it up and just throw it in there. I guess you guys can be the judge of this. Is this actually better? If you ask me, this is a little bit longer, so you're gonna have to trim this. It's not a big deal. And like I said, we'll have to see how this whole area lines up. There's a good example of kind of the differences there. So uh, in the next video, I'm actually going to cut this up and I'm gonna get it fitted to my cab. Hopefully I don't have to do too much modification. I'm hoping that at this point you guys have already seen the A pillar that they came out with, which is freaking amazing. I'm hoping this just pops right in and we can weld it up and be done with this cap corner finally. So. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Now, if you guys haven't seen the high quality B pillar that these guys already put out, make sure you watch this video right there. It'll give you a little bit better explanation, but I'll see you guys in the next one.